I'm Dr. Robert Fenstermaker. I'm head of neurosurgery at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Brain tumors aren't common in young adults, but when they do occur, they tend to be a variety that's somewhat different than in uh, older adults and, and in young children. Frequently, young adults with brain tumors present uh, to the hospital with seizures, a uh, new onset of seizures uh, with no prior history. Uh, but they can also present with headaches, uh, neurologic deficits like weakness on one side of the body, uh, similar to stroke-like symptoms, but they come on over a longer period of time than a stroke would. It's important at that point to get the right opinion about what that brain tumor constitutes and what the, the best treatment for it ought to be, if any treatment is required. Occasionally, it's even possible to follow patients without treatment. We don't see the secondary tumors so much in young adults. We more often see primary brain tumors, uh, which is in contrast to older adults. And in young adults with primary tumors, they tend to be less aggressive. They often require surgery and other forms of treatment as well. And so they're less common, they're rare, the care has to be more individualized, and there can be a wide variety of tumors. Most of them fall into a category known as glioma. These gliomas tend to be less aggressive, grow slower, uh, but not always, and so careful diagnosis and attention to the right treatment for the right glioma is very important. Prognosis for young patients with gliomas can be very good. There are, however, situations where a tumor can be quite aggressive and can recur after treatment and require really intensive monitoring and aggressive treatment to control them. Young patients have their whole life ahead of them. For that reason, particularly, it's important for young people with brain tumors to come to a comprehensive cancer center like Roswell Park.